Hey guys, this is Paesh from Vivo.com and let's face it. These days we rarely come across a new laptop that can surprise us, really get our excitement going. But you know what? It's something that really happened with me with this. The new Asus ROG Flow X30. Honestly, when I first unboxed this laptop, I thought it's a usual nice Ultrabook. Then I found out it's also a 2-in-1 convertible and then I found out that it's also a powerful machine that can even handle games. Yep, this is basically three laptops rolled into one laptop. It is super exciting and now that this has launched in India, let's take a look at all of the laptops inside this one laptop. So I'm going to start with the work laptop aspect of the ROG Flow X30. Now I think this is a great general purpose Ultrabook because of its design and hardware. I mean you expect Ultrabooks to look good and be very portable and this is both of those things. See this is a 13 inch laptop and trust me you will be amazed at how lightweight and compact this thing is. Just look at this laptop from all the sides, it's just so sleek, unified and very lightweight at 1.3 kgs. Also like I said it looks good, the whole texture design with the ROG branding on the bottom gives it a very classy look. Even the palm rest has this texture and it looks good. Although this whole matte design is a big fingerprint magnet, which does kind of ruin the look at times. Now do note that it is a complete magnesium alloy chassis under the soft touch paint. As for the port selection, it is fine. On the left, you get the XG Mobile eGPU interface, which is hidden. You also get a full HDMI port and the headphone jack, along with two indicators. On the right, you get the USB-C port, USB-A port and the power button, which by the way, also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Now the fingerprint scanner is very fast as you can see here and what I like is when the laptop is turned off I can just press the power button to turn on the laptop and it will also recognize my fingerprint then and there so it will just go ahead and log into my windows account no need to authorize my fingerprint again. Yup that is pretty cool. Now a good work laptop also needs to have a good display and the ROG Flow X13 variant we have has this 4K IPS touchscreen display with a 60Hz refresh rate. 116% sRGB coverage, 300 nits of max brightness and Gorilla Glass protection. Now do note that the ROG Flow X13 is available in a 120Hz FHD variant as well. So you have the options but the 4K panel in this laptop is beautiful. It's obviously sharp, the brightness and contrast is pretty good and the viewing angles don't suffer at all on most angles. It's also a touchscreen like I mentioned and it's very responsive. And there's also support for Asus Pen, the stylus that Asus offers. Now this 4K panel is obviously great for content creators but if you're wondering about the response time while gaming, I think it's kind of fine but the 120Hz version of the laptop will be better in terms of the response time. Anyway, the rest of the basics in this laptop are pretty good too. The keyboard has a wide backlight with three brightness levels and you get these four hotkeys on the top for volume up, down, mute mic, very useful these days, and a key to open the armory crate. Now as for the keyboard experience, it's a very crisp experience. The keys have good grip, the 1.7mm travel is nice and overall if you type a lot like me, you will like this keyboard. The trackpad is pretty good too, it's not the biggest but it's responsive and smooth. Then there's the webcam in the top bezel and it's a 720p camera which is okay-ish. Now all that is great but what actually makes this laptop a great work laptop is the performance. The specs are really good here. The ROG Flow X13 variant we have is powered by the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS CPU which is a 7 nanometer chipset with 8 cores and 16 threads. It also has the discrete GTX 1650 GPU with the Max-Q design and the SSD and RAM are also top notch. So this is clearly a very powerful laptop. I mean, for people who don't know, the new HS series chips from Ryzen are fast while being efficient and that shows in the performance of the ROG Flow. Frankly, I would not call myself an intensive PC user, but in my day-to-day -day usage, which includes a lot of Chrome tabs, file transfers, etc., the laptop was just snappy all thanks to the fast CPU, the SSD and the RAM combo. I did want to test how the laptop handled intensive apps so I installed Photoshop which worked flawlessly on this laptop and I also tried out a bit of 4K video editing on Premiere Pro and the ROG Flow X13 did kind of fine. So I honestly have no doubts that this can be a great work laptop but what makes the ROG Flow so exciting is that it can also be more than a work laptop. Thanks to a 1650 Max-Q GPU you can also use it as a gaming laptop. Now I'll be honest with you, the 1650 Max-Q GPU won't really handle today's AAA titles at the highest graphic settings, but eSports titles, older AAA titles should run fine on this laptop. Now I'm no PC gamer, but I tried out a few games. I played CSGO and Fortnite to start off my gaming experience with this laptop and I got very good performance. 
I mean, in CSGO at the best graphic settings, I was getting frame rates north of 100 FPS, which is awesome. Now the FPS does drop when playing on 4K, but it's still decent enough. I also tried out a newer game like Hitman 3 on this laptop and the gameplay was pretty good. See, I think the medium graphic settings or high graphic settings with the screen set to 1080p is the sweet spot here because on ultra settings, the FPS was around 40, 50, which is fine, but I did face some stutters here and there. Whereas on high and medium, the game looks good while also performing decently. Needless to say, if you are a gamer, you're better off with the FHD 120Hz option. Now, if you're wondering about the thermal performance of this laptop, the ROG Flow X13 comes with liquid metal cooling, upgraded fans, and the Ego lift hinge design, all of that to handle the thermals better. See, in my usage, I did notice this area below the screen get hot, but it does not really spread to the keyboard. I use the laptop on a solid surface, so it never really got uncomfortable for me. As for the fan noise, the laptop is mostly very silent, but the fans do get loud while gaming. It's not crazy loud, but it's loud. Moving on, one aspect of the ROG Flow X13 that I still haven't talked about is the whole 2-in-1 convertible design. Yup, the 2-in-1 convertible design is what really makes me call this a great multimedia laptop. So the hinge here is a 360-degree hinge, and that means you can use this laptop in four ways. You can use it like this, the traditional laptop, or you can just flip this over and use this as a tablet, which works well, especially because the touchscreen is responsive. Third, you can set up the laptop like this in tent mode. This is great for watching movies and shows on the laptop. And I did notice that the speaker experience is better this way. So the speakers here are not the loudest and on a soft surface, I did notice the speakers getting muffled up, but on the tent mode, it's a lot better. But loudness apart, the sound quality is very clear and detailed. There's also decent bass for a laptop speaker, so it's good. The last mode you can use it in is the stand mode, which can be useful for when you're sharing a screen or maybe you want a game with an external mouse and keyboard. Apart from that, when it comes to battery life, the ROG Flow X13 has a 62 watt hour battery, which is decent, not very big, but it's a very thin and light laptop, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, ASUS claims up to 10 hours of video playback and 18 hours of max running time. In my regular usage, I got the laptop to last around seven hours, which I think is still pretty good. As for charging, there's a 100 watt USB-C charger, which first of all is surprisingly compact, as you can see. And second, it fast charges the laptop to 50% in half an hour. So yeah, pretty good. Lastly, when it comes to connectivity, the ROG Flow X13 comes with Wi-Fi 6 support and Bluetooth 5.2. So that was a good look at the brand new Asus ROG Flow X13 2-in-1. And this has to be one of the most well-rounded laptops I have ever used. It's just so many things. It's a great productivity laptop thanks to its sleek and premium design, great display, and the fact that it gets the other laptop basics right. It's also a great laptop for power users who also want a game because the AMD plus Nvidia combo makes up for an appealing experience. And lastly, it also makes sense for people who want a laptop with good multimedia capabilities or anyone who is creative because the two-in-one form factor is very handy. Look, to sum things up, I will tell you this. These are some of my first impressions, but the ROG Flow X13 definitely looks like an interesting laptop you can consider in 2021. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think of this new ROG Flow X13 2-in-1. Comment down below. Also, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Last me signing off. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. And yeah, stay safe, guys.